guys, Brett here, and today I'm going to show you how to do basic FTP to a website. So I've already showed you how to set up an FTP account with cPanel, and if you've missed that video, please click black and check out that video first before you continue. But assuming you have your FTP account set up as per the previous video, now you need to download and learn how to use an FTP program. There are a lot of FTP programs out there. I personally use the Firefox browser as my default browser, so I like the Fire FTP plugin. It's a free plugin that plugs right into your web browser and allows you to access FTP from the browser itself. It's completely free. Just go to addons.mozilla.org and you can find it, or you can simply Google Fire FTP so you can download it. So once you've downloaded the Fire FTP plugin, you will restart your browser and you can then go over here, up to here, in your, in your Firefox browser and you will see a section called Tools. Simply select Tools, Web Developer, Fire FTP. This will then open the FTP plugin in another browser window. Now I have access to quite a few websites but yours will probably be blank from the start so the first thing you're going to want to do is click on create an account this is going to ask you for the account settings that you entered when you created your FTP account with cPanel the account name is anything you want to name it it's just for you to remember what this account is for the host is going to be your website name so for example, if you are uploading to mysite.com, the host is going to be mysite.com. The login is the login name that you created with cPanel. And generally in cPanel, it will be a name, then the at symbol, then the domain name. Finally, you enter the password that you created with cPanel as well. Click the OK button and you've created your FTP account in Fire FTP. So once you've done that, the next thing you need to do is to be able to do an FTP. So I'll show you real quick how to set up FTP. So I'm just going to pick one of my existing sites here to FTP to. And I will actually use one of my test sites. So once I select the account and click connect, you can see I am now remotely connected to that server. Usually the website's docs, the website's actual files is in a folder called either HTTP docs or public HTML. For this particular server, it's in HTTP docs. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on that. And now I can actually see all of the files for the website. Now you'll see here, on the left hand of my screen are the files that are on my computer and on the right hand of my screen are the files that are on the server and I can just click on one and click the appropriate arrow in order to either move it from the computer to my the server to my computer or the computer to my server it's very simple and very easy to do and it may seem a little bit confusing at first but once you get the hang of it it's incredibly easy if you have any questions at all, please feel free to click the help button in the upper right hand corner of your screen. I'm always glad to be of assistance if I can. Thank you and enjoy.